In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can insert edges and edge loops in forms in the form workspace. Let's go to the form workspace by clicking on create form. Then I'm going to make a box. I'll click on the origin and then I'll drag out a box. In this new box, I only have four faces on each side. I can go to modify, insert edge. If I click one edge, it's going to insert this single edge and I have a choice of inserting it in both, and I can change the location. Right now, it defaults to 50. If I wanted it to be one third, I could type 0.33, and then it will move to where I want, and I can say okay. If I want that edge to go all the way around, I can go modify, insert edge, and then I can double click the entire edge. Once again, I can choose single or both, and then I can move that edge to where I want. And I can say OK. If I modify this a bit, so if I right click Edit Form and I move these pieces around just a bit, just to give us something to see, and then it has a bit of form. Now, if I insert an edge, I go Modify, Insert an Edge, and then Fusion 360 gives us some more options for inserting edge. So I'll double click this edge, and then I can use Simple or Exact. Exact will try to keep the curvature the same as it was before, and therefore you notice it has to add a lot more geometry to insert that edge. So if you have a specific T-spline in Fusion 360 that you need to keep that geometry, you can choose exact, but notice it adds a lot more geometry to it. Let's look at another situation that might come up. So here I have four faces that I'm gonna edit the form, and I'll extrude these faces up and then I'll extrude them up again. And now I want to insert an edge loop, say like right here. If I double click this edge loop, it goes all the way around. And if I go modify, insert edge, there's a limit to where I can drag it. You see how it stops right there. I can continue to put edge loops around this form, but what if I want one to go there? I can double click this edge. And if I go modify, insert edge, I can only do it right here. I can drag this to here, but it doesn't continue around. If I click OK, I'll get that edge, but it doesn't come down. So I can modify insert another edge. And then I can put that edge there, but they're not connected. So what I need to do is draw points around. So when you have complex geometry, sometimes fusion can't see where you want the edge. So you can go modify insert point and then I can put an edge in this way. So if I click around an object, Fusion will put edges in between these points. So this is another way of inserting an edge. And then I can say, okay, and that edge is exactly where I want it. Let's look at another situation. I'll delete this form. I'll create a new box and I'll say, okay, let's say we have symmetry turned on. Now, if I modify insert an edge and I click here, if I have single on, it's going to put an edge on both sides. So be aware of that. One nice thing about symmetry is if I had an extrusion like this where I couldn't get an edge loop to go around it. So once again, let's say I want my edge loop to go around, modify insert edge. I can move this to here or here. Even if I go both, I can put my two edge loops here, but they don't go all the way around. But since I have symmetry on, inserting points is much easier. So I can go modify, insert point. And for this one, I only have to insert one point because it will automatically connect that point. And then up here, I can go modify, insert point, and I can finish this edge loop on the T-spline in Fusion 360 by clicking those points and then right here. And then Fusion 360 knows because of symmetry, it will connect the points down here. So those are great ways that you can insert edge loops in Fusion 360 to modify your T-spline forms when you need more supporting geometry to finish your polygon model. Happy 3D modeling.